Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Open Heavens Review. I'm Samuel Adebowale, and I know that we, you've been following us and enjoying the review over the days. But today, it's 2022, and we're going to be praying into the new year, decreeing. We ought to stand by our watch, stand at the gates, and call those things that be not fought as though they were. So with me this morning is the pretty, the delectable SDJ, Pastor Shay Jalayemi. Welcome, Mom. Thank you very much, Sam. It's nice to have you here. I'm so it's Friday. Yes. It's Friday, January 7th, and we're praying for the new year, basically. But I'd like to read from the um, Bible reading for this de devotional, Psalm 65, verse 9 to 13. Psalm 65, verse 9 to 13. You visit the earth and water it, you greatly enrich it. The rivers of God is full of water. You provide their grain, for so you have prepared it. You water its ridges abundantly, you settle its furrows, you make it soft and showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, and your paths drip with abundance. They drop on the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are clothed with flocks, the valleys are covered with grains, they shout for joy and also sing. You know, one, of, one part that leaps out to me here is the uh, verse 11. You crown us the year with goodness yes. and parts drop with fatness. Yes. Ma, how, how does that apply to the new year? And then um, how can we pray with that? Well, um, every single thing that we can get that is good, that is truly good, comes from God. So when the Bible says that God himself crowns the year with goodness, it already gives us an anticipation of what we can expect for that year. And even if you feel like 2022 is not yet starting the way you like, you can all decree the word of God you know, over the years saying you are crowned with goodness. The Bible says that the Lord crowns the year with goodness, with goodness. and my 2022 is crowned with goodness. So shall we then stop? Okay. Right. Shall we then pray? I mean, yes, we're going to start with thanking God for the year 2022. I want us to go ahead and say, Father, we thank you for this year. Thank you for the opportunity to be in this year. Thank you for the opportunity to see this year. Thank you for making this year come to be. Thank you, Father, because it is by your grace that the world has not gone to extinction. The world has not been forgotten. It is by your grace that you have not come because your mercy is great and we say thank you God thank you for bringing us into this new year we give a praise Lord thank you father in Jesus name we're giving thanks Amen. we have quite a lot of uh, you know prayer points here and I'm not necessarily going to stop you know in the middle we're just going to take it together so wherever you are I want you to get ready to pray and we're going to start by saying that the Lord should please crown our year with goodness as it is in the memory verse um, 65 verse 11 so I want you to go ahead and say father please crown this year 2022 with your good goodness for me in the name of Jesus. Let me experience goodness in the morning, goodness in the afternoon, goodness every day of this year in the name of Jesus. Let everything that is not good stay away from me in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that God will let his good success be your portion. Every single day of this year you will be successful. You will have good success in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that God will prosper you. Father, we declare prosper us in everything everything we lay our hands on will prosper in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray oh god that whatever it is that we do that is according to your will it prospers in the name of jesus i want you to declare that right from now which is the beginning of the year that the lord will protect you it will protect your loved ones it will protect the, what all that you have every member of your household all your investment the lord will protect it in the name of jesus you will not bury anybody there will be no loss you will not suffer 
any loss, no sorrow, no crying around you. In the name of Jesus, I want us to pray that God will take evil far away from us this year and every day of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, take evil far away from us. There will be no weeping, no crying. We will not suffer any loss. In the name of Jesus, I want us to pray before the end of this year, the Lord will cause us to celebrate. Even before the end of this month, January, we will celebrate great things, great feats, great successes, great achievements that we will earn in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will help you to achieve great success. The things you plan to do this year, even if you planned it last year and it didn't happen, it's a good time to commit it into the hands of the Lord and say, Father, I will celebrate. I will achieve good success. I will accomplish great things with ease this year. In the name of Jesus, there shall be no difficulty in my path. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, declare that no matter what it is, the state of the economy of the country, of the world, no matter what is happening, God will be your provider. He will be your sustainer. You will not lack any good thing. In the name of Jesus, yourself, your family members, you will live in abundance. God will be your sustainer. He will be the one who provides for your every need. Pray tonight. Pray right now. Pray wherever time it is, wherever you are. Lift your voice and pray that God himself will be your sustainer. He will provide for you abundantly. In the name of Jesus, pray that God will guide you. That in everything you do, he will guide you. You will not fall out of his path. You will not fall out of his will. In the name of Jesus, you will walk in the right path this year. And as you walk in the right path, he will be pleased with you. In the name of Jesus, pray that you will not miss your path. You will walk in the path of righteousness, guided by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that this year you will be wise. You will be a soul winner. You will be wise. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask, O oh God, for the grace to win more souls for you this year. Let us win more souls for you this year. Give us the boldness to step out to preach the gospel. Give us the boldness to step out and speak to people about you. And as we speak, we ask that the Holy Spirit does the conviction, join men unto you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray that God will let our zeal for the kingdom increase. We will do more for the kingdom this year. In the name of Jesus, every single day, every single week, every single month, it will be us doing things that has kingdom value, that has eternal value. In the name of of Jesus, our passion for God will advance. Our passion for the work of God will advance. In the name of Jesus, when people see us, they will see that we are sold out to God, to the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Let's keep praying in the um, Holy Ghost for a few seconds, there's a portion of the Holy Spirit for a few seconds because we're decreeing into the new year. We are calling for those things that be not as though they were in the name of Jesus. Can we decree that year 2022, hear the word of the Lord, you will favor me. Year as a year, it can hear you. Decree, decree. The Bible says, You, this very you, will decree a thing and it shall be established. Oh, year 2022, you will favor me. You will be better than 2021 for me. You will walk for my good. The Lord will promote me this year in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Can you call them for? Can you call them for? The Bible says that this very you will call for those things that be not as though they were. It says you decree a thing and it shall be established in the name of Jesus. Decree that this year I will not spend on sickness. I will not spend on court cases. I will not spend on funeral ceremonies. In the name of Jesus, nothing negative. Can you decree that for me this year it's nothing missing, nothing broken? Nothing missing, nothing broken. Can you decree this year? Nothing missing, nothing broken. Can you decree this year? This year, I hear clearly. I see clearly. I know what to do part time past season. I hear clearly. I see clearly. I know what to do part time past season. In the name of Jesus, my money is marked for good only. My money is marked for good only. In the name of Jesus, oh Master, in Jesus' name we have decreed. Amen. Amen. Amen.
can you pray for us and then just to round it up? All right. Before I do that, I just want to tell you, pray more this year than in you've ever done. Saturday. And as you lift up your voice to heaven, God will answer you speedily in, in Jesus, Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, you Father. Thank you because while we yet speak, you heard Amen. us. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father, because we will do more for you this year. And in our lives, your name will be glorified. Amen. We Jesus. give you praise, oh God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for 2022. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, Thank you, in Jesus. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So don't stop praying. Keep praying. Keep decreeing into your year. Keep asking God. Pray, 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 and pray again. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Thank you for joining us, and God bless you. See you on the next episode of Open Heavens Review. God bless you.